Welcome back everyone and I want to do a follow-up on this chamfering tool and actually I've been very impressed with it very happy with it I'm in the process of building a small model it's resulted in the best line and best fit of planking that I've ever done there's no gaps it fits up nice and snug so totally impressed so let me show you how it works first thing I discovered is it's best if I put this in a vise so I can hold it very steady and I've all only been doing the new part that goes on and the top of it and that's all it seems needed to be done so that's going to be my top edge so this is going to flip around and my cutting edge at an angle like this so we're going to do right along there and I've also learned that because you could get a splinter I get a piece of paper towel it doesn't need to be that big or it could be cloth and this slips in this is adjustable for different thicknesses of wood so then I'm just going to gently push down and pull and pull this through and I get as far as I can just hold the tip of it gently push down and pull and you can see just a small amount of wood sliver I do it a few times so that it's pretty consistent level and then if I need to get this last little piece I will pull it the opposite direction a couple of times but that would put um, the residue that's taken off inside that groove so you don't want to do that often and you need to clean it out I just blow through there and blow it out okay I can kind of dry fit this and I'm going to cover some of these new techniques in upcoming videos as far as these little clamps the other thing is there is a technique that is very labor intensive on how to figure out how to get these angled pieces to fit properly because if you don't trim this off I've had a heck of a time getting these to fit in place and now I've come up with a very simple way to do that and you can see I'm gonna get very close to where this would fit if I forced it in just back a hair more okay that's about where I want it so now I'm gonna let this pop up and wherever it starts to hit an angle I will take a pencil and this, this is where it's starting to drag see if it went straight you could tell it wouldn't fit so I just put a, a dot here and then I can remove this plank and I go on the opposite end and I don't take it all the way down I leave about oh eighth or a quarter of an inch there and now I'm going to draw a straight line from one dot to the other I have to turn on some alternate lighting so sometimes that affects the camera that's why I don't have it on when I'm filming and I'm just going to draw that pencil line And now I'm going to take, I'm going to mark which part comes off so I don't do the wrong edge. And now I'm going to take that off. Now I, I've developed a couple ways to do it. First I start out and I kind of shave it with my knife and just get closer to that line once I get relatively close this is one of the new tools that I received again it was a Christmas gift and it has helped out immensely I can use this to sand this down right where I want it and I use different parts of the belt I'll turn it that way and try and show you and I just gently apply pressure 
and I'll sand that down until I get to that pencil line. I'll do a complete review of this tool in another video. But now you can see I've got that how I want it. I'm going to use these clips to hold it in place while I position it exactly where I want it. It needs to go forward just a tad. Okay, that will hold it. Now I'm going to take and just dot some super glue. And bend this round into place. Hold. Put a clip on the very tip. Now I can work my way down. These are in place. Now I can just dot in the super glue. For this last one, I use a rubber band. So I'm going to tell down really snug there. There you have it. And let me show you on the other side a close up. This little um, ledge there, that will sand off. But you can see in here how those are all nice and tight up against there. No gaps. You can see how I've been working on the front of the ship. So it's been a couple of minutes. I think the super glue will have had time to initially set up and hold. And this is by far the best planking that I've ever done. And I attribute that to the chamfering tool. So I have some work to do but it's coming along rather well. And you can see no gap. They're all going to fit in very well. So save my channel. Um, you can always subscribe. And I've got several videos that I'm going to be producing in the not too distant future. One is on this little miniature sander which has turned out amazing. I also have a miniature lathe. I've been experimenting with making miniature cannons, the barrels, and I'm very impressed with that so far. A, a climbing ladder, rat liner tool, and I'll feature that in an upcoming video as well. Again, this is Boiler Dan 1, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. Thanks for watching.